For more on the climate change and its effects on food production, I'm joined live via Skype from Nakuru, Kenya, by Jackson Kinyanjui Koimbori, the East Africa Regional Coordinator for Climate Reality Project, headed by Al Gore. Mr. Koimbori, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much. What are you seeing in the countries under your watch when it comes to climate change? What is the impact like? Yeah, thank you so much for that. And uh, when it comes to the countries that are under my watch, that is uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, we're talking about Somalia, we're talking about Ethiopia and Djibouti, we have seen catastrophic events uh, affecting these countries. And when I talk about catastrophic events, I'm talking about impacts associated with climate change. In Ethiopia right now, we are having issues to do with the uh, conflict. And the conflicts which have been experienced in Namar and uh, various regions, they emanate from uh, what we call changes or what we call uh, fighting for that scarce resource, which is the environmental uh, these resources that we have. That has affected so many resources in Africa, and in Ethiopia it has exhibited that impact so high. In fact, deforestation rates in Ethiopia they have been seen to increase at an exhibited rate because people are looking for other sources of livelihood and the cheapest source of livelihood they're seeing is what we call uh, the use of charcoal. So uh, conflicts in associated with climate change, they have been very rampant. And when we move to areas like in Kenya, also we had experienced around 2.1 million people who had been rendered uh, refugees associated with the climate change issues. So the matter of climate change leading to impacts such as drought, impacts such as uh, floods, they have been so rampant. Now, 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 what's in the making now? How is uh, COP27 shaping up and what's in it for Africa? Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, in Africa, we are, we are looking forward into COP27 because uh, COP27, we are seeing it as a hope or a ray of sunshine for the African nation because this is the first time the COP27 or any COP will be held in Africa. It will be held in Egypt uh, later this year, that is in November. And the theme of this COP27 is adaptation and mitigation. The reason that is hard hit on matters climate change because we are purely, uh, we are very poorly adapted to mitigation. So we are calling on these developed nations to help us uh, scale up our activities on matters adaptation and when it comes to the Green Climate Fund, let these developed nations continue meeting their obligations of ensuring that it has that kitty reaching up to 100 billion. We have not seen that happening since the COP26. That kitty has not reached its full limit where they are say they'll be reaching up to 100 billion every year so that you can access it. So what I'm saying is that COP27 is a real hope and we are going to pitch our ideas which are our main aims in terms, of, in terms of adaptation, calling out on all African nations to go there, pitch the ideas, and tell these developed nations we are here because of their developed status and them using coal and other uh, fossil fuels to our detriment. 